And so for this artist, uh, this is an artist whose work that I've known for a bit, but I never really truly actually seen her or known about her. I caught the name a few times, but the work has been beautiful. Um, but she left us this week. She passed away at 52. Uh, Silke Otto Knapp. Um, I'm just going to read a blurb from Art Forum about her. Um, she was born in 1970 in Osnabrück, Germany, and grew up on a dairy farm, which instilled in her a love of nature, which you could kind of see in her works, uh, especially with the color. Uh, she made, majored in cultural studies at the University of Hildesheim before earning her MFA from Chelsea College of Art and Design, now in Chelsea College of Arts in London, which I'm very familiar with. Uh, having by this time already discovered her preferred technique of applying watercolor to canvas and removing it with the water or dry sponge, Otto Nat began making works, taking photographs as their reference and depicting barely seen people and places. These paintings recall J.M.W. Turner and their hues and romanticism, and Jennifer Higgy noted in a 2003 issue of Freeze, the remnants of old hand-tinted photographs left in the rain in their smudge and liquid appearance, which had the effect of accenting, minimizing, or otherwise rendering strange, otherwise ordinary objects, a brick in Autumn Knapp's world more fragile than leaf, Hig than a leaf, I'm sorry, Higgy remarked. Um, so you can see that her work was very revered. Uh, I saw a piece of hers today at the Hammer Museum for the uh, What She Says show with uh, jo for Joan Didion, um, which is beautifully curated. Um, and I'm sure she would be missed by the arts community and her works will definitely live on because I'm there are tons of, you know, beautiful collections and, you know, just the works there. So salute to Silke and uh, rest in peace for sure. For sure.